and it's called bird dogging. Bird dogging is an easy side hustle. A bird dog in real estate is a hunter that sources properties for investors to buy pre-market before a realtor can get to them, typically as a side hustle. The term bird dog originates from dogs being used by hunters to seek out distressed birds for an easy killing. But don't worry, there's no killing involved here. Investors that flip homes claim that most of the homes they invest in come from bird dogs that they have hired to simply submit property addresses to them when they see a distressed home in their neighborhood with no realtor sign. Anyone could be a bird dog, even a child that sees an unkept property in their neighborhood that looks abandoned and unwanted can make that call or text to an investor and recite the address. No license, age, or special knowledge is required at all. Home flippers have a very simple mathematical formula that doesn't fail. Because it's a foolproof low risk formula, they are very aggressive when hunting down properties. So the job of a bird dog is simply to find a distressed looking property or a homeowner looking for a quick sale and notifying the investor. It's that simple. The investor accepts the leads from the bird dog and then sources the homeowner's contact information himself so he can make the sale. An investor typically pays a bird dog $500 on the average home flip just to provide the lead only. The bird dog doesn't get paid until after the deal closes. So since the investor can't lose, he or she will sign a contract agreement with just about anyone. Sometimes, if it's a higher profit deal, they'll pay the bird dog $1,000 or even up to $2,000. They have a strong business model that they follow. The business model is so solid that even foreign investors are using it to buy up American real estate. Foreign hedge fund managers are also funneling large sums of money into American real estate pre-market as a safe place to hold money. Some researchers say that foreign investors own about one third of all American real estate now. So when foreigners buy up properties and become landlords, most Americans don't even know it because they use American property managers. This is most likely one of the contributing factors to the reason Americans are having trouble finding homes to buy now. And the lack of homes on the market is driving prices to insane new levels. So back to bird dogging. Bird dogs look for notices on the front door, boarded windows, an overflowing mailbox, no realtor sign. Some claim that on average they get paid on one in 40 or 50 addresses that they submit to the investor but it could be more depending on how many investors you network with. Anyone that already works as an Uber or bus driver or delivery person would make a great bird dog since they're out there anyway. So all they would have to do is take a photo of the abandoned property or say the address or intersection into a phone recorder app in their travels. So while realtors are contacting prospects the old fashioned way, cold calling and sending out letters, investors have multiple packs of bird dogs doing the grunt work for them at no cost to them unless the deal closes. Question, why are realtors not hiring bird dogs? Answer, realtors cannot legally pay a referral fee to anyone that's unlicensed. Maybe that's why investors don't wanna be actively licensed. There are also full-time professional bird dogs that don't just drive around looking for properties with tall grass that look abandoned. They actually take it a step further. They look for companies that have big layoffs and contact homeowners that may need to sell because they can't pay their mortgage. So they find them by searching public 
property tax records to see who is behind on their tax payments. Some full-timers even cold call from public records of homeowners that filed for divorce. Some even source prospects from obituaries. If cold callers are smart, they will check the phone numbers first to make sure that the phone number is not registered on the National Do Not Call Registry online. There are lawyers suing cold callers who call phones that are registered. The typical lawsuit has the cold caller paying about $11,000 to settle the complaint. Some bird dogs are hired to make phone calls. When I listed my own home as a for sale by owner on Zillow, I was contacted by at least 15 cold calling bird dogs, even one from Australia. Since they are not licensed agents, they don't have to follow most ethics rules that agents do. They call you with a script, and if you don't hang up on them, they eventually ask you if their boss can call you with an offer on your home. Some of them are so smooth that they have mastered a way of keeping you from hanging up on them. One even tried to sell me on, well, if you sell your house to us, you don't have to worry about the appraisal coming in at value. Yeah, as if they would offer higher than the appraisal value. Some people fall for that, apparently. <laughs> the growth of bird dogging is so extreme now that you can Google bird dog seminars and most likely find one in your area. Corporations are actually charging people a large fee at the end of the seminar to join their bird dogging training program, but they mask the truth by not calling it bird dogging. The seminar I attended asked for $1,200 and shockingly, about 30 people went to the sign up table. So they had about six shills or actors jump out of their seats at the end of the seminar, excitedly holding their credit cards up high in the air saying, sign me up. It was so fake looking. <laughs> they used the old, I have a secret marketing strategy and people actually fell for it. I cringed when I saw so many innocent people falling for it and running to the sign up table with their credit cards. So if you want to be a bird dog as a side hustle, don't fall for any seminars trying to get you to invest $1,200 into training programs. Simply find investors online that hire bird dogs. There are so many. As a bird dog, you can contract with a network of real estate investors, as many as you want. That way you have a better chance of converting a particular lead into a deal. Each investor will tell you what type of properties they look for. So you can keep notes on which investors are looking for what type of properties to easily place your leads. Some prefer single family homes, others prefer multifamily homes, or commercial properties. There are even a few that buy industrial properties. Any property that has four units or apartments or more is considered a commercial property. So you won't get paid until a sale closes, but it will be a nice chunk of pocket money each time the investor buys a home that you recommended. I'm not personally affiliated with any investors, so I do not recommend any in particular but use your Google app to find them. Also join investor groups on Facebook and let investors know that you're interested in bird dogging for them. Do your research on any company before you sign an agreement with them. Sometimes you can find company reviews from sites like glassdoor.com, which are posted by past employees, or you could check the BBB for complaints too. So do not give your leads to just anyone without a signed pay agreement. You'll want to make sure that your leads are not being given to another bird dog who's posing as an investor in this crazy dog eat dog world we live in. Becoming a bird dog is an excellent way to learn about real estate investing while making money. It can be a side hustle or lead to a full-time career. Income isn't guaranteed because 
is typically a commission only business unless you're hired to work in a call center. So what are the pros and cons? You can spend a lot of time hunting real estate deals before getting paid. So it isn't without risk. But on the bright side, there is no investment to get you started in your own business. Be sure not to involve yourself in the actual sale of the property if you're not a licensed realtor to avoid legal problems. Limit your involvement to sourcing possible leads only and let the investors contact them. So if you're interested in bird dogging, please stay in touch. I might have good investor contacts coming soon for you, depending on your location. My email is realterrific at gmail.com. Please subscribe and click the bell because more great stuff is coming soon.